Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'll be talking about two my schools in Cairo. I entered four schools in Cairo. The first one, the uh, primary school, uh, was like, a, as I mentioned, big villa or small palace with a big garden in the front and uh, two floors. The ground floor was rooms for music, for arts and drawing, for cookery, and for uh, agriculture uh, knowledge to learn what they can teach us. In the cookery, they used to teach us how to make jams. In the agricultural knowledge, they used to get some plants and explain to us what are the plants and put some seeds to cultivate it like uh, uh, seeds cultivation. And of course, the instrument, musical instruments and the drawing boards for all of us. On the right hand side, when you come to the school, there's a, the administration building for the headmaster and the teachers and, and, and. Behind the building was a big playground for the morning uh, uh, nasheed or uh, uh, songs and the stand for the people, uh, for the children before going to the classes and for sports activity and uh, football activity. The first floor was six big rooms or big classes. Uh, each one of them was uh, yeah, class one, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, uh, unfortunately, the number of students at the time in the 50s were about between 40 to 50s. That means that at that time, at the very beginning of uh, the, 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 the revolution ruling Egypt, uh, there was no heavy investment in schooling. I remember some of those female teachers, they used to uh, be relaxing when they talk to the children and sometimes when they sit and talk uh, you can the children are looking at uh, at them and talking about the dresses and what's behind the dress which is whenever you teach a young child at the age of nine or eight or seven be careful that he will look at something which you don't like him to see that uh, the second school was in Muhammadiyah which is a uh, Preparatory school, which is uh, was properly built school, was a big building on the right, also to uh, uh, for the administration and some class and the front building for the all the classes, class one, two, three, in there, which could be class one A, class one B, class one three, and so on. We were ten or twelve uh, uh, classes uh, in the school, but yeah, got properly built uh, school was huge land for. Uh, uh, the morning uh, nasheed or the morning uh, session as well as the morning assembly was out in the open not not inside hall whenever all the students would be standing in rows to go to the classes and sports activity especially football and others the third school was when we moved to another uh, uh, area which is in, uh, it was in the middle of the market I can't remember it's called Mbabel Ismailia school uh, I spent one or two years in it and uh, I can't remember the, 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 the school itself because I only remember Kitkat Street which she was at the end of Kitkat Street at the time but I can't remember the school but the, the second school was called Al Jiza the school is in a, in a, in a place called Duqi uh, area called Duqi and there's a properly built school always also overcrowded because as I mentioned earlier the, the, the government was not interested in building new schools and the numbers of the students inside all the, all the pupils inside all the schools were actually growing uh, tremendously. And uh, the good thing about El Giza school, it's about half an hour walk from our house and we used to walk from where we were in uh, El Jude Street or Al Hassan Atiyah Street to Al Mahrusa to uh, Ahmed Arab Street to uh, Arab uh, League of Arab State uh, Street to uh, Al Kawakibi uh, Mosque, which is in uh, an area uh, where actually uh, one of the top stars, or movie stars of each world living there is called uh, Farid Shawki. So which, uh, the people actually knew the mosque, or the, not Al Kawakibi Mosque, but actually uh, Farid Shawki Mosque to go actually out, so it, took, it just takes us about at least half an hour to reach the uh, Al Jiza Secondary School. 
But the, quite often I remember on the way back we used to stop in the mosque to pray the Dhuhr because we did not want to miss Dhuhr because we used to come from the school from the school about more at two o'clock or after two o'clock. So all of us, me, myself, Hisham, uh, Izzat and the others actually stay in the mosque to pray uh, Zuhr before we go home and we reach home by three o'clock in the afternoon. So the facilities given to the education system was not great at that time, unfortunately. From the very beginning, actually, there was a plan not to invest heavily in education, but invest in maybe a military and security at that time, and how the security and military should be controlling the economy of the country. Thank you very much for actually watching the video. I hope that you can press the notification bell and share the video with your colleagues and your friends. Assalamu alaikum.